Florida Springs. They are natural wonders that have mesmerized visitors for generations. With their pristine waters and diverse habitats. They're home to mullet, manatees, and even mermaids. During the past century, Florida Springs have become threatened by human activities, climate change, and other factors. We can all take steps to protect them, but first, we must understand the science behind them. More than 1,000 springs flow in the state of Florida. Within the Southwest Florida Water Management District, there are more than 200 springs. A spring is a natural opening in the ground where water flows directly from the aquifer to the Earth's surface. The springs form when groundwater is under pressure and flows up through an opening called a spring vent, supplying flow to a river or other water body. Spring vents are part of a much larger system called a spring shed. You can live many miles from a spring and still have an impact on its spring shed. Some of those human impacts include excessive fertilizer use and failing septic tanks, all of which can cause an increase in nutrients. Those nutrients can negatively affect a spring's ecosystem. Flow also plays a significant role in the ecological health of springs. A spring's flow is the amount of water that discharges from a spring vent, or in most cases, a collection of spring vents. Rainfall has been the biggest impact on water levels in the aquifer and spring flow. Long-term rainfall patterns have been generally lower since the 1960s, which led to a reduction in spring flows. But spring flows have been relatively stable since the 1990s. And while rainfall is the largest factor on a spring's flow, groundwater withdrawals can also affect the rate of flow. However, aquifer levels and groundwater use have remained stable in the Springs Coast region due to increased conservation and use of reclaimed water. Their clear, calm flows and constant temperatures make them a popular spot for a variety of recreational activities including swimming, kayaking, and boating. In recent years, the springs have grown in popularity, and increased visitor traffic has led to degradation of these resources. Each spring system is unique and complex, and the district uses a variety of techniques to help protect them. The district works with other local, regional, and state agencies to develop management plans tailored for each spring system. These plans include regulation, monitoring, research, restoration, and education. But it takes a community effort to protect our springs, and you can help. Simple steps like using fertilizer sparingly, inspecting septic tanks, and using best practices while recreating can help protect our springs. Let's all work together to protect these treasured systems. To learn more about springs and how you can help, visit watermatters.org slash springs.